I'm an illustrator that lives in North Cornwall in a village on the edge of Bodmin. For my sins, I uh, am a paper engineer, um, which means that in simple terms, I make pop-up books. Uh, something I've done since 1978, uh, since I produced my most amazing hide seek alphabet book. When I'm designing it, I'm trying to get the most out of the mechanics without making it the most expensive book to assemble. So this is where I do my work. It's a kind of cross between a workshop for doing wood projects and a space for creativity. Rather messy, as you can see. Lockdown has been a challenge. My wife has been working more or less full time at home and I've been, in fact, the, uh, the uh, chief cook and bottle washer. So I haven't felt horribly creative and that's been a bit frustrating for me because I do like to be producing things, even if it's not to do with books, you know, I like making things out of wood and uh, I need to be doing things. So we've been making a chariot for a superhero for our youngest daughter and also building a den. Um, starting to build a den anyway um, and also in the foreground there's a crocodile which we thought was quite an interesting piece of wood. I do show them to my children, but um, they're always very honest in their response and um, perhaps too honest sometimes. When I was younger, I, I had very few books, in fact, probably less than half a dozen books, but two of them, um, my uh, I had a nursery rhyme pop-up and I also had a um, a story of Jesus um, in pop-up form and I loved looking at those books and I can't think looking back that probably that's why I entered into that kind of area. I, I have flirted with that kind of idea before. Um, the book that I've just um, had published by McBecran, um is is started off as a children's book, um, and then it became because its title is Pop Up Cornwall, and it kind of became more of a souvenir. I felt in my mind as if people might visitors might buy this book when they came to Cornwall. That is probably the nearest I've been to a. Uh, to an adult book as such. I like making things from old recycled materials and we had these planks in store. I've also been doing a bit of painting and this is our village at night and it's nice to get back to a bit of painting which I've been able to do during this period. Cornwall has rapidly become a favourite place for me. Um, we came here in 2013, uh, seven years ago, and we we would come um, three or four times a year down here, sometimes in the winter, and we lived in Norfolk at the time and kind of loved um, Cornwall so much that we, we we didn't really want to go back to Norfolk. And so we decided to move here and we rented in this village where we now live. And um, I think it's a very special county because when you start to think about doing a book about uh, a specific county, Cornwall has so many different attractions and um, sites that you could put in to a book, whereas with some other counties, um, you'd be hard pushed to, to fill a book 
in my mind. Um, so I feel lucky to have such a wonderful um, county to be inspired by. I'm so looking forward to um, coming to the North Cornwall Book Festival. I think it'll be a joy to be there next year.